Hey there, YouTube. I just wanted to come on here and update you a little bit on this submarine incident. I can't find any information stating that the uh, U.S. sub was scuttled. Um, I did do an update on that video and explained that the, the sub in question, the Russian sub in question, was more of a surveillance sub. So you can go back and take a look at that video to, to read the notes and it kind of explains everything that. So I think as far as the U.S. involvement, best I can tell at this point, it was uh, that much of it was fabricated. Um, there was a story that, uh, you know, rumors, were, uh, you know, abound, but uh, both Russia and the United States were involved in dealing with a rogue sub, but I don't know. I don't know. All I know is we need to be prepared, which brings me to the point of this video. Um, this is Brad with Full Spectrum Survival. I highly recommend everybody subscribe to his channel. He's a good dude. Gives great, great information, and I'm going to play a little clip here of what he's talking about Iran. It, basically, Iran is is trying to use the nuclear card as blackmail. They're trying to say if people don't do or countries don't do what we want them to do, then we're going to go ahead and enrich our uranium to nuclear, you know, weapons grade material. So I'm going to go ahead and just play a, a couple of seconds of this for you, and uh, and we'll comment on it. No information. Iran warned Europe that it will take the next step to enrich uranium to weapons grade levels if, uh, if the deal is not reached, putting all of the EU on the deadline saying, we're going to do this, we're going to enrich towards weapons. We're not going to pay any attention to the uh, rules or the uh, soft apps that you put into place as Europeans to stop the uranium from being weapons grade uranium. There you go. I think it's time to take these suckers out. I mean, I'm not a warmonger. Um, I used to date a girl from Iran. She was the sweetest girl. You, you know, you can imagine. Um, I'm colorblind. I, I'm, you know, my wife is Filipino. My computer dude in the States was Chinese. My accountant was a, you know, Muslim dude. Uh, my service manager for my company um, was a black dude. I mean, you know, the, the color of our skin has nothing to do with the character inside. And, uh, but I'm tired of the threats. I mean, I'm a guy that takes threats very seriously. I had a, quite a discussion um, about this with a fella um, just last night. And, uh, you know, we live in an age where I think we need to, as soon as bullies start bullying, we need to pull the plug on them. I need to set an example. That's one thing I like about Trump. Uh, you need to, he talks, at least he talks a better game than the, uh, you know, Obama or any other presidents previous, uh, besides possibly Reagan or JFK. But, um, you know, I'm tired of getting blackmailed. I mean, everybody wants to blackmail us. You know, even black folks, they're talking about reparations, reparations, or whatever how you pronounce it. Um, you know, for slavery, crap that happened many, many, many years ago. I, I never had any slave. My family didn't have any slaves. If anything, we are slaves to the system. Um, yeah, black folks got beat up. They got used and abused uh, at that bad, that bad. But I mean, that was days gone by. And why should you and I have to pay for something that, that happened many, many, many years ago? Um, it seems to me that, uh, you know, I mean, I personally was discriminated against getting a VA loan because I was the wrong sex and the wrong color. I mean, a guy flat told me. So, you know, I, I think we've kind of paid our, our reparations, or reparations, or whatever, whatever, I can't pronounce it. But um, I want to talk to you a little bit about being prepared. Now, you guys can do this, all right? I am no gardener dude, but you know what? Um, W7 did, did a video yesterday about not only on top of all the rain and everything that's happened, was, Hit, hit Missouri and, and uh, Oklahoma and Iowa and all these other countries or count, uh, states that have been having problems. They had a hailstorm. The ones that did have seed in the ground uh, and there was a possibility of getting some food going, here comes a hailstorm and wipes that out. 
And so, I mean, we're already way, 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 way behind the eight ball. China's having the same problem. Russia's having the same problem. God is trying to get our attention, people. If it's not clear to you, I don't know what, I really don't know what it's going to take. Uh, short of him writing it across the sky or something where you see a big hand, a finger or something because I think that uh, he's pretty well made made it uh, clear that, uh, you know, Jesus is coming and boy is he pissed. <laughs> so, uh, you guys that aren't right with the Lord, you better get right with him real soon because it'd be going down. I mean, yeah, we got wars and rumors of wars and threats of financial collapse and pandemics taking off that seem to be unstoppable. And, I mean, the information's out there if you want it. Or you can be an ostrich and put, you know, your head in the sand, which seems like a lot of people do. But then again, I think, you know, a lot, a lot of us, we're just beat down with fake news stories. And so you get to the point, it's a little boy cried wolf. You get to a point where you just throw your hands up, you don't believe anything. And that's a mistake too. And I think that's part of the game that they're playing with us. So with that, um, let's see if I can just bring up... Uh, this playlist. I've got a lot of playlists. I don't know if you guys know that, but I was talking to uh, Braveheart, which I recommend her channel, and because uh, she's a nice lady, elderly lady, but she's she's a doll, and she's tough as nails, and she's got uh, a lot of sense. And, and I think you know one of the things that the younger generation doesn't do these days is they respect the elders and the experience that the elders have. You know, when I started my pest control company, I went and I found every old timer I could get my hands on. And I picked his brain as long as he talked to me. I'd buy him lunch, I'd buy him coffee, I'd do whatever. And I, but I asked questions, 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 questions. And I'm telling you, it made a lot of difference. Because they know what they're talking about. So I would suggest you guys subscribe to Braveheart. Also, um, We Do Not Consent, Ohio. There's some very good uh, uh, videos. Uh, but here's my preparing for uh, SHTF. And what, what I want to address here is uh, I suggest everybody read this uh, or listen to this audio, audio book here on YouTube. Is first, I put it on here on purpose. It originally, it was a 13-hour video, all one video, but I can't find it anymore. I guess it was removed. Now it's broken into two six-plus-hour portions. Yeah, that's right, 13 hours still. But it's worth it. And it goes play by play by play of what would happen if we were to get hit by an EMP. Now, I don't think it's going to stop with just EMP. I think Revelation 18 describes Mystery Babylon, a.k.a. I believe America. I think she's going to burn in one hour. That's the reason I've been trying to get people involved. I've been trying to get people to you know, get in contact with their politicians and their officials, do, do whatever, but it seems like the bulk of the church sitting on their butt waiting on the rapture that I just don't think is going to come. Several times until the last day. Several times in the book of John, it says, point blank, the last day, the last day, the last day, at the last day, the last day. Remember, when Martha was talking to Jesus about raising the Lazarus, um, she says, yeah, I know he's going to be raised at the last day, and Jesus didn't correct her. So, uh, you know, all you pre-trimmers out there, I love you. It, it, it's not a salvation issue, but it's a preparation issue. And I know that most of you aren't even close to prepared. Uh, I'm not either. We've been living off of our um, storage for now five or six years. I was, made a long story short, I sold my business to a friend I'd known 20 years and he lost his mind. He started snorting coke, chasing girls half his age, drinking, crashing trucks, hiding it, uh, having the workers come in on the weekends and exploiting them and taking advantage of them. And uh, it, the whole thing was a big mess. I had to take the company back. When I sold the company, it was at the top of the market. When I got it back, it was at the bottom of the market. I did everything I could do to find a manager. I was willing to give them stock. I could not find somebody that would work more than a couple of months and say, where's my stock? <laughs> and I'm like, where's the increase in the bottom line? Show me, show me the money. You know, show me the money and I'll give you a portion of it. No problem. But uh, ended up, I ended up selling it basically for 10 cents on a dollar and I was lucky to get that because now it's a buyer's market. When I sold it originally it was a seller's market. But if you go through this playlist there's a lot a lot of good stuff on here um, and it's a little bit hard to find so you might have to go to my channel and specifically click on playlist and um, 
so with that I'll go ahead and shut the you know close this down and uh, I just thank you for listening and, uh, and those that have donated to the truck the truck is in the shop I'm, I should hear from a mechanic today hopefully figure out where we are I'm gonna post some pictures so you guys don't think I'm some kind of scam artist or something like that <laughs> you know, it's a legit deal um, my wife is getting you know excited about being able to get back into the feeding kids program again not only that but she gets to drive I had been nursing um, she has a driver's license but for uh, she hadn't been able to use my truck because I had been nursing that truck clutch for a couple of years now I actually had crawled under the the dash and, and extended the cable which you're probably not supposed to do to get me a little bit more uh, you know feel to the clutch and um, but like you know, all things they come to an end so uh, anyway again th you know, those that they're stuffed up to the plate and you know give us a few bucks to uh, uh, help us out with that love you man may God bless you a hundred thousand times over you may make a big difference and it really helps things around here more than you can know plus it helps the kids so I appreciate that love you mean it and uh, you know be sure and like the video subscribe to the video I don't know for whatever reason I'm not getting the views that, that I feel I should get um, I feel like I get good content accurate content but uh, I don't know if I'm being buried or whatever so if you guys got a cruising cab playlist and you want to throw me on that that might help me um, I don't it, the, you know my stuff is not monetized and uh, so and my videos are not uh, uh, you know I mean you can uh, they're creative commons so you can copy them make them your own monetize them I don't care I just don't do that because I saw the trap of the monetization how many times have we seen people uh, they give up their jobs and they do YouTube videos full-time and then something happens and YouTube pulls a plug out for them I saw that coming I didn't want to touch it with a 10-foot pole plus I didn't want anybody accusing me of uh, you know messing around with my videos to try to get views and all that stuff but uh, with that thank you and I appreciate you guys listening and if I can do anything at all for you please let me know and uh, God bless you and again thank you thank you thank you for helping us out we'll return the favor if something happens and you guys need to bug out I'll work for you here uh, no charge and uh, you know those that have helped us we will help too and so you know you scratch our back we'll scratch your back <laughs> so with that take care bye bye now